Hey what's going on guys this is Kedar here and today in this video we are going to compare SSI versus SSDI what are the differences between SSI and SSDI benefits how you can apply for both of them we'll check out what is supplemental security income that is SSI also what is social security disability insurance what commonly known as SSDI the clear difference between SSI and SSDI we'll check out a clear comparison of SSI and SSDI all the parameters can you receive both SSI and SSDI at the same time, how can you apply for SSI and SSDI, what does disability mean according to social security, how long does it take for SSI or SSDI application, what will happen if your SSI or SSDI application is rejected. So guys today in this video we have lots of detail on SSI and SSDI, supplemental security income and social security disability insurance that is SSI and SSDI. So before we start this video make sure to subscribe to our channel for latest updates, turn on that bell notification so you will never miss our latest videos related to social security and smash that like button and with that being said let's get right into it so several federal benefit programs provide financial assistance to the seniors and persons living with disabilities supplemental security income that is SSI and social security disability insurance are two most common programs from social security administration that is SSA and while speaking of what is supplemental security income well SSI provides minimum basic financial financial assistance to older adults and persons with disabilities regardless of their age. Although there is a very important criteria, persons should have very limited income and resources. And while federal social security income benefits from the social security administration are most often supplemented by state programs. And while speaking of the social security disability insurance that is SSDI, SSDI supports individuals who are disabled and have qualifying work history either through their own employment or family member that is spouse or parent and while speaking of what is the difference between SSI and SSDI well the major difference between both of those is that SSI determination is based on the age or disability and limited income and resources whereas the SSDI determination is purely based on disability and work credits and in addition to that most of the states an SSI recipient will order automatically qualify for health care coverage through the Medicaid and a person with SSDI will automatically qualify for the Medicare after 24 months of receiving disability payments. Also individuals with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis are eligible for Medicare immediately. And while speaking of the comparison between SSI and SSDI, we'll check out each of the factor. So speaking of the eligibility for the SSI recipient, those people are eligible with age 65 or greater for blindness there is no age criteria also for disability there is no age criteria and those people with limited or no income and resources these people are qualified for SSI benefits while people eligible for SSDI are having disability and sufficient work credits through their own or family employment so these are the criteria for SSI and SSDI eligibility and speaking of the when benefits begin for the SSI recipient first full month after the date the claim was filed or if later the date found eligible for SSI the benefits will begin for the SSI recipient while in the case of SSDI recipient the sixth full month of disability that is the six month period begins with the first full month after the SSA decides that the person's disability began and then right after that SSDI recipients will begin receiving the benefits speaking of the average benefit for SSI recipient it's $624 while for SSDI recipients it's $1,223 as of January 2022 and the maximum benefits can go up to $841 for single SSI recipient while it can go up to $1,261 for married couples but this is totally based on income while for SSDI recipient it can go up to $3,345 in 2022 this is totally based on the work history and while speaking of the health insurance SSI recipients 
automatically qualifies for the Medicaid upon receipt of SSI in most of the states. And while speaking of the SSDI recipients, they automatically qualify for Medicare after 24 months of waiting period from the time benefits begin. In case of ALS, there is no waiting period. Also speaking of the some of the important questions, can you receive both SSI and SSDI at the same time? Well, yes, it's totally possible that you can claim both SSI and SSDI at the same time considering you got both limited income and resources also you got a work history in that case you can qualify for the both benefits so how can you apply for SSI or SSDI well you can apply for SSI online if you are an adult with a disability SSI applications are not available online for people applying for a child under age 18 with a disability or non-disabled senior age 65 plus people so these individuals must visit their local social security office or call 1-800-772-1213 or 1-800-325-0778 during this time period and you can apply for ssdi benefits online at any age and you can apply by calling social security at the number given above or you can go to your local office as well and well if you are wondering how does social security define disability and social security uses a strict definition of disability and that one relates to your ability to perform a work and the projected length of your disability it requires that you submit your medical records to support your application and if you have a short term or partial disability then you are not eligible for ssi or ssdi and speaking of how long does it take for your ssi or ssdi application to be processed the time period where is widely but on an average it takes around three to five months from the date of application and people who have a disabilities that fall under the social securities compassionate allowance classification they will receive the expedited review of their ssi or ssdi application there is no special application that you need to do for this cl applicants and well if you are 62 and disabled does it make sense to apply for ssdi or early social security benefits well you can apply for social security Security retirement benefits at the beginning age 62 however taking retirement early reduces the amount of your benefits for the rest of your life but if you got your SSDI well that benefit amount would be equal to your full social security retirement age benefit so in the most of the circumstances if you are likely qualified for SSDI it makes total sense for you to apply for that benefit instead of drawing your early social security but well if you decide to take an early retirement perhaps you need a uh, income while you are waiting to hear about your ssdi application you can apply for retroactive ssdi and if you have found that you have met the disability requirements before you begin to receive early retirement then you would be entitled to retroactive benefits equal to the difference between your early retirement payment and what you were entitled for your ssdi however social security determines that your disability did not begin until you received your early retirement and therefore you won't receive any retroactive payments and instead your social security payments will simply convert to your ssdi benefit amount and once you reach your retirement age your full retirement benefits will be reduced based on how many months you received early retirement and well what will happen if your ssi or ssdi application is rejected you know many applications for ssi and ssdi are denied and if you believe that you qualify for those benefits and have been wrongly denied you can find an advocate familiar with social security disability policy to represent you so there it is guys that's all the details on ssi and ssdi i hope this video was very helpful so make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel if you haven't did already turn on that bell notification to stay updated with latest videos and with that being said this is kedar from how to guys signing out